God was real. Okay, if God's real. If God was real and he came down to earth like 2,000 years ago. Okay. Or if he touches someone's life today, right? Right. Then therefore, he, his actions must manifest in the real world in, in a real way such that um, you can sort of measure it. And you can say like this is, um, this deviates from what we expect in science. And it's very probable that there's something called God that exists, right? So how come we don't have like an equation that captures these phenomena or like a, you know, like observations that can't be explained? Uh, okay, let me see if I got your question. If God's real and He's working in people's lives, how can you can't observe that, set up an equation, pop out a prediction or something like that? Yeah. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, basically, if He's okay. real, then His actions must like be seen in the real world, right? And if that's the case, then we must be able to measure it somehow. Okay. Such that his existence is undeniable. Sure, sure. Okay, I think this goes in kind of the science yeah. category. Uh, there's two angles that I take, I would take this. One is, it's possible it just depends on, science is possible in any field, you just gotta see what field you're looking at. So, the way you do science in your laboratory with atoms might be slightly different than your scientific approach in the courtroom in law and how they gather witnesses and stuff like that because you have to apply it differently based on its situation. Does that make sense? Or archaeology. How you do archaeology might be slightly different than how you do chemistry or biology, but you can apply still the same scientific principles to it. Okay, I think the same thing with God. So you can apply scientific principles. Where are places that we can evaluate God? Uh, Historically, with archaeology, uh, people's lives, maybe, things like that. So, so maybe you can set up a system, but it might not have an equation in it the same way the courtroom, they don't set up an equation, okay, 2x plus y, you're guilty. You know what I mean? So you don't necessarily do it that way. Uh, on the other side of it, uh, God interacts with humans and different human relations, that's difficult to measure. So, uh, unless you're the sort of person who thinks I can put an equation to everything, it'd be a little hard to think, okay, let's take this person, put a cap, let's take their life and write out an equation, and then take out this other person, take their life, write out an equation. Okay, can they marry and love each other? You know, in the same way that that would be a little weird, you know, you don't go to a marriage ceremony and hear math equations. You know what I mean? In the same way, that's kind of hard to study in that rigorous sort of manner. In the same way, since God interacts with people on a personal level, I, I think it's a little hard to evaluate those sort of things. Um, think of the field of psychology. Uh, there's some, uh, like, rigorous science to it, and then there's some, oh, let's look at patterns and trends and stuff like that. I think that the most interesting kind of evaluative thing that I've heard, read that Jesus said was in John 7 where he said, if you hold to my teachings and believe, uh, if you hold to my teachings, then you'll know that I'm God or that you'll know that I'm sent from God. And I think that's an interesting way that anybody can evaluate Jesus if they want to. Check out his teachings, try them out, and see if God meets you in some way. If they do, if he does, you'll know it's from God. If he doesn't, that's fine. You've checked it out, and it doesn't work.